subscribe gadget filter channel and tap the bell icon to never miss any update what's going on youtube this is shadash shubuj back once again from gadget filter channel and in this video i'm going to review the aosip rom for oneplus x i will talk about features performance and bugs of this rom so guys sit back relax and enjoy the show So before going for review in this channel we cover gadget reviews apps and game reviews and custom room reviews just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing so any further ado let's see what we have got in this room this is AOSIP which stands for Android Open Source Illusion Project latest official version 6.2. This ROM comes with 5th July 2017 security patch and this is the latest patch. And also it is based on Android Nougat 7.1.2 which is really nice. This ROM is also based on AOSP as well as the kernel they are using is Arsenic kernel which is really good for battery backup. So in the settings menu we have AOSIP tweaks, all of the customization and tweaks are here in the OS Nest section. There you will get status bar option, here you can customize battery, clock icon style, position, carrier level, custom logos, icons, truck traffic. Then there is quick settings panel, here you will get quick pull down, brightness slider, header option and tile management. After that there is notifications, here you can change the color of notifications for battery and heads up, as well as you will get ticker option. Then there is navigation for enabling or disabling soft keys, here you will also get a smart bar customization option and fling mode. Enabling fling mode you will get only one soft key, swiping left will take you to back and swiping right will take you to the recent panel. In the hardware buttons option you can disable hard keys as well as you can use power buttons and volume buttons for some gestures control. In the recent option you will get two things. One is you can customize your recent panel and another is you can alternate recent panel with slim recent view which is really nice. Then you will get lock screen customization, some gestures and miscellaneous and extra items settings. So that's it in the features section. The performance of this room is pretty much fine. This room is smooth and fast. I didn't see any lag there. Battery backup is good. I'm satisfied with the battery backup. Because of using arsenic kernel, you will satisfy with the battery performance. The camera of this room is normal. You will get lots of options. Front camera is pretty much nice and back camera is also nice. Honestly, I didn't find any bug in this room. I think it's pretty much stable. All the gestures works good, so you can use it as your daily driver. So guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see this kind of ROM reviews for OnePlus X, subscribe to this channel and I will catch you very soon in the next one.